What is going on everybody? My name is Norfi and today I've got box break number two for the channel. Of course, you, I can't get away from team coach when it's in front of me. When I've got the opportunity to, opportunity to, I just have to open up some boxes. We've got another one here for team coach. Always exciting opening this stuff up. Team coach always gets people hyped, always gets people excited. And I'm hopeful that you guys are feeling the same way for me in this one here today. Um, we've already gone through one box. As I mentioned, this is box break number two. If you want to check out box break number one, be sure to do so just a few days ago on the channel. And I've been opening up packs and albums in between all those box breaks as well. So hopefully you guys can check those ones out. But for now, Box break number two. Hoping for a case hit. From what I can tell, and what I've been able to tell from the first few times, you usually get three hits. So you'll get, obviously, the two box hits, which are the wild cards and the uh, team star powers. And then you'll also get either the fantasy duos or the gold best and fairest card. Um, that's one of the other ones you'll pull. And then the case hit is dependent on whether you're lucky enough in the box. So without further ado, let me get straight into this one and we'll see how we do. I tried turning it open, but of course I'm not, <laughs> I've done that wrong somehow. It's just a little bit of plastic and I still couldn't open it up. But here we go. Box break number two. Really, really excited. Hopefully you guys are having a good Friday. Really, really hopeful uh, that next week in the Good Friday Clash, North Melbourne managed to pick one up against Carlton. But let's see how we do, Team Coach 2023. Box break number two. I'm gonna say for case it, I've already got myself a gold wildcard before. Mm, let's say trophy wildcard. Trophy wildcard is the big one that we're hoping for here today. But 36 packs of good fun. Let's see how hot we start. We've got CJ to start. From CJ, we've got Darcy Fogarty. And from there, we have ourselves just a normal Chad Warner star powers. To start it all off, makes a bit of sense. Started off with the most common type of card in the star powers. But let me know in the comments below. I usually like to see how everyone else is doing. But what has, what has your best pull for team coach this year been so far? Um, as I mentioned before, the gold wild card, probably the, my best so far. Um, I put that one up on my Instagram at NorthyAFL. Be sure to go check that one out. But we're starting this next one off with Ben Ainsworth, Jordan Ridley, and a silver card craft of Lockie Whitfield, number two. Again, card crafts looking very, very nice this year. And from there, we keep it moving. Uh, yeah, hopeful that we've got the four in here. Um, you can only hope, but there is a lot of opportunities for it. That's all I've realized is there's a lot of opportunities for those case hits. Um, hopefully, we manage to get lucky enough to do so in these boxes. But we've got Sebastian Ross to start. Here we go. I have not gotten a Took Miller just yet. Took Miller, common Scanlon's card. Very, very nice. And, oh, like I said, he's one of our hits. Speaking of, where is Took Miller? We've got this ourselves a gold best and fairest card. I've gotten so many gold best and fairest cards already. This is actually like ridiculous how often I've gotten one of these. But here we are. We've got another one. Chuck that one here. The gold best and fairest. Again, I think it was probably the most surprising card of this set. Like, I was surprised how good the card looked. Um, I think everyone kind of expected it just to be a normal gold best and fairest, but the added details on it looking very, very nice. So, pleasantly surprised. We've got Bailey Smith to start this one, though. Mitch Georgiades. And a gold. we got some more gold in here. CJ. CJ gold. Looking very, very nice. Oh, the shine on that card. That one's looking clean, you know. That's very, very clean. But still got plenty to go. And if everything goes well, three hits. Um, that's if everything goes very well, though. We're going to have to really hope for that one. We've got Sam DeConing to start this. Uh, Caleb Sarong. And a Doggies Bailey Smith card craft number one. Saw a lot of previews of this card in the lead up to Team Coach 2023. So seeing him in person, that's fairly helpful. Um, I'm not sure whether I've ever completed a card craft set before off the top of my head, like an entire card craft set. I think I've been close, but this 36 now, it's just too much. We got Jacob Weedering, Harry Perryman, and Luke Shuey, regular silver star powers. But yeah, just a lot of the uh, normal stuff there that we've seen uh, for Cardcraft has just gone even further than we could have ever imagined. Like, ooh, upside down, what does that mean? <laughs> Hopefully it means something nice. Let's, uh, let's, let's hope so, at least. we got Tim Kelly. Hold on one second. I think we've just gotten something big here. Oh! Oh, okay! You know what? I'm really excited because I see something at the bottom of this card. Can you see that? Oh! Oh, wow. Okay. Tim Kelly, Isaac Rankin. Oh my goodness. If this is what I think it is. 
Let's hope it's a good player. <laughs> okay, this is really exciting. This is really, really exciting. Who's it gonna be? It is! It's a Paddy Dangerfield! Oh, wow! Look how cool this is! This is a... I'm forgetting the name of it, but it's the one in every two cases! Wow! This is the retro. Yeah, I thought it was the retro. Oh my goodness, look at that! Okay, so I need to compare, but... Wow! Okay, this is really sick. So, for comparison, this is what the common looks like. Obviously a lot bigger. Paddy Dangerfield too? Oh! Um, and I'm just trying to compare the two because you can see here this looks a bit clearer. This one has a bit more shine to it and looks a bit more like almost done up. It's really, really strange, but it's so cool. Oh my god. All right. Paddy Dangerfield. This is the retro Scanlins card. That is crazy. This looks sick. And it's Paddy Dangerfield too. That's not a bad one, you know. That's not bad at all. Paddy Dangerfield of the Geelong Cats. Retro scam. That is so sick, man. That's so sick. Hold on. Let me try and find some protection for this one. Now that I think about it, I don't think I have any. I really need to get this in like a sleeve or something because this is like, this could very easily get damaged. One second, boys. <laughs> all right. So I found a sleeve and a top loader for this. This is going to be very interesting because obviously this card is not to uh, regular size of a team coach card or just a general card nowadays, but man, this is super cool. I really don't want to damage it. It's so hard not to. It's so hard not to with how like small the card is, so I'm just slamming it on the table a little bit, but that's about as far as I can get it. Oh man, the Paddy Dangerfield. It is a bit wonky right now, but we'll sort that out soon. That is... Really, really cool. I was hoping to pull one this year. This is the Retro Scanlins card, and I'd like to say in pretty good nick too. That's really good. I'm really happy with that. Oh man, I'm gonna chuck this just over here for the moment. That's so cool. Okay, like I said, there's potential for four box hits, and it's we've already gotten the one in every two box, and now the one in every two case card. That's crazy. And here we go, we've got another, we got another Scanlins card. This is the Scanlins box, so for sure, though. we got Jack Zebel, uh, Scanlins, Cam Rayner, and we got ourselves a Andy Brayshaw AFL Fantasy Favourites card. What would do the, what would do well for this video now is if we can pull a really good rookie wild card. Because one thing that I have noticed with Team Coach throughout the year is that, uh, rookie wild cards, if you pull the right ones, are some of the most expensive ones. But we got Jack Viney. Sam Draper, and a normal star power, Zach Merritt, lovely to see, but the likes of Nick Dacos, I completely forgot that this is like a rookie card, basically, for, uh, it, just in team coach versions, so Nick Dacos is gonna be a really, really tough one to purchase, that's for sure, but we got ourselves, uh, Jack Sinclair to start this one, we've already seen what it looks like behind it all, We've got Elliot Yo as well, and it's an odd bod, King Maximus. Okay, that's not too bad. I've seen some bad ones. King Maximus is okay. We can live with King Maximus. That's all right. Keep it moving though, because like, I don't know. Odd bods are, odd bods are so old for me now, man. I've, I've really like lost my excitement for them. But we've got Daniel Ritchie, uh, Tom Liberatore, and another star power. Ken Zoha. Lovely. Good stuff. We will take that. Uh, next pack. I'm honestly just really happy. Like, that is a one in every two case card. Managing to pull that in this box. Super cool. Super, super cool. Toby Nankervis to start this one. Brody Smith. And James Sicily. I'm hoping that's the first one that's been pulled on YouTube. I really, really hope so. Because that's a super cool look at what, like, a retro scan lens looks like. Because I noticed that, like, as the pack... Like, as I opened the pack, obviously it being upside down gave it away, which was really, like, uh, it's both good and bad, because a lot, I've, I've noticed some people actually liked the fact that commons were at the front last year, and that would tell you if you got a case it, but that was upside down. I could just tell that it was a retro Scanlins card, because the card was, like, just kind of hanging out the bottom of it, which was really strange, but Jack Silvani here. Uh, Jeremy Howe, and it got a gold. Got another gold here, Rory Sloan. I actually really like the design of the gold. I think I've mentioned it um, in previous videos and already in this one, but I think although the collection is a really tough one and a bit of a strange one to bring back, 
I think the gold uh, cards just in general are really, really nice. But got ourselves Scott Pendlebury here in the Scanlands. Obviously, Scanlands are pretty, pretty happy with Scanlands so far in this video. Christian Salem and another star power. We've got Bailey Fritch of the Melbourne Demons. Nice, nice. Um, I'm interested to see what team star powers we have. As um, if you guys are unaware, we are about to lose the ability of having all our star powers cards. Uh, we are going back to the ones that you own. But this pack, we're starting off with a Luke Parker. Shannon Hearn and... Oh, oh, okay, here we go. Richmond Tigers, Jaden Short, team star powers for Supreme. I will take that because he can, on his best days, pull out some really, really nice stats. So Jaden Short, that's a nice pull. That's a really nice pull. I definitely will take that. Nice stuff. Man, the hits have just been really on point so far today. <laughs> They've been super on point. Obviously, it does help when you uh, pull a one in every two case card, but... You know, I think we've been all right. And now we're just waiting on the wild card, which is always really exciting. I want to see a rookie wild card. That would be really sick. We've got Michael Walters, Paddy Dangerfield, and a Daniel Rich, Silver Star Powers. But um, I think if you remember in a video that I recently uploaded, I mentioned that often um, the big case cards are at like the top for some reason. I just know that they're at the top a lot more. Um, so really cool to see that that kind of like worked out in my favor this time. We've got Jake Lloyd. Bradley Hill, and Jack Crisp. I usually don't um, trust the big case hits to be at the bottom of the box. I feel like if you pull um, your three other hits before you pull a case hit, then the case hit just isn't coming. If the case hit will come first, second, third. It's never going to be the last one you pull in a box. We've got Josh Ward here. Uh, Carl Amon, two Hawth Hawthorne Hawks there. And a Trent Cochin. Silver Star Powers. Not bad at all. Keep it moving. We're interested to see what, what this wild card is, though. This is a really, really exciting box. This has been action packed, man, and I'm not complaining whatsoever. We've got ourselves uh, Jaden Short, though, here. From Jaden Short, we've got Charlie Cameron. Another silver, I guess. I don't know. Sam Darcy and Darcy the Docker. See, this is what I mean. <laughs> what does. What the. What, what's, what's the point of the duh? I, I guess because it's like alliteration or whatever. Cool. Please get rid of those. <laughs> Please. We need to see Oddboards Oddboard gone sometime soon in the near future. As it looks like we've got another one here. Which is thankfully our last one, I think. It'll be our last one. But Brennan Cox. Jamara Ugal Hagen. And last one. Hugh Magnet. Hugh McMagnet. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. We just keep it moving. <laughs> just, just. It's better we move on. Better we move on from that, because the more we look at that and the more we think about it, the more it hurts. Ah, uh, next one. Got Matt Gil... Uh, Welfy, sorry. Ugh. David Swallow. I don't know how I messed it up that badly. And a Connor Rosie Best and Fairest Silver Card. I'm really happy that um, the minimum amount of big hits you can get this year is three. Like, I've mentioned it before already, but I think it's pretty good that that's the case. But we've got Jared Witz here. A nice little Dyson Hebel Scanlon's card. And... We got ourselves Clayton Oliver. Best and fairest Clayton Oliver. Can't go wrong with the Melbourne one. Would be nice to get some of their players in my top team. Hopefully it goes well for me this week. I will get a video out on that um, at some point in the future. I'm not sure whether I'm going to start the rounds this week or next week. Um, I have been a bit lazy, but we will get on to it. I know yeah, a lot of you guys remember it from last year. We've got Ben Cunnington, though. Uh, Dan Houston. And another best and fairest. My God, they're popping out everywhere now. Jeremy Cameron, silver best and fairest card for the Geelong Cats. Again, can't go wrong with Geelong players, although they have been a bit lackluster to start. I think a lot of people are expecting Geelong to get back on the horse soon enough. I think they will find their stride once again. But we've got Christian Petraka, start this pack. Alex Pierce, the Fremantle captain, and a Sebastian Ross, silver star powers. Again, beautiful look for the star powers this year. I, th I think some people have said that their favorite looking card is the star power. Um, yet to pull a Neon. I haven't pulled a Neon before, like, ever since they've been introduced. So it'll be nice to see when they eventually come around, for me at least. But, uh, you know what? I can't complain with what I've pulled. <laughs> I can't complain. Uh, asking for a Neon at this point would just be absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Joshua Shelley, Mitch Lewis, and a silver card graft of James Sicily. Lovely stuff. Taking that one. Saving my gold card craft luck for later is what we're doing, it seems. Next one up, we've got ourselves uh, Tom Atkins. From Tom Atkins, we've got Scott Pendlebury. And 
it's another gold. I was getting excited there for a little bit. I gotta remember, gold is somewhat common, or more common than usual this year. <laughs> we got Jack Crisp though, a nice gold card to pull. Very, very nice one. I'm really, like, this box break, although, like, it has been super action-packed, it's been quite calming. It's actually been quite calming, and maybe it's because we pulled what we wanted, like, towards the start. And so now it's just like, we know we're not going to get anything too major, but we're happy with what we've gotten so far, that's for sure. We've got Tom Doty uh, to start that one. Hugh McCluggage. And here we go. Haven't seen many fantasy favourites just yet, as we get Jared Witts. I think we've seen one before that one, so going to expect a fair few more now, I think is going to be the case. But let's see what we have on offer. Still waiting for that wild card to pop out. we got Hunter Clark here. Uh, Nick Nat Nui Scanlon. It's a cool little Scanlon's card to pull. And an Ollie Wines, number two card craft. Okie doke. Keep it moving. Don't put you there. You're in that pile. And the rest of the comments here. As you can tell, I have a lot of piles now. I have a lot of piles of cards, a lot of piles of uh, packs. Just the, the, the rubbish here gets out of control whenever I record these box breaks. But we've got Noah Bolter, George Hewitt. And another silver. Nice little Darcy Moore number two. It would be very cool to pull a gold card craft of a Collingwood player. As um, a lot of people are now... Not only are they pretty good now, but it's also the fact that Collingwood's always just been a popular team. So it would be good in terms of value to pull a, go a uh, Collingwood. Whether it's a case hit, double case hit, stuff like that. But we've got Dylan Moore, Sammy Walsh, and best and fairest of the doggies. We've got Josh Dunkley, which is kind of funny, but <laughs> nonetheless, he's there. Yeah, that situation. I haven't really touched on that Josh Dunkley situation much this year. That was very, very interesting seeing him uh, move on. Just seeing him win the best and fairest as well. Like, sure, he deserved it, but it was quite just strange knowing that he clearly wasn't staying at the dogs. <laughs> but we've got Tyson Stengel, Dean Rampey, and what do we have here? Another fantasy favourite. It's Roy Laird. Good old Rory Laird. He's always been very reliable for myself um, whenever it comes to uh, team coach games. I think he's been super reliable. But interesting enough, the, the uh, big wild card in this box is towards the bottom here. So, I mean, even though I did say big hits seem to be at the top, it is possible for them to be at the bottom. At the end of the day, it is random, but it's just I'm used to seeing them at the top. We got Tom Papley there, Bailey Scott, and another fantasy favourite, Nick Dacos. Is this a sign? I'm hopeful it's a sign. I would love to see a rookie card of Nick Dacos because I've been seeing them go for ridiculous prices on eBay and Facebook. It's just been ridiculous, but nonetheless, keep it moving. We got ourselves a Jordan Degoe here. Tom Barras, and what do we see here? It is a normal star powers of Caleb Sarong. Oh man, he looked really scary against North the week before. Thought he was going to break my heart. Really did. Next pack. I think we got three packs left. The wild card is still hiding in here, man. I think it may be coming up here as well. This looks like a bit of shine. I'm seeing a bit of shine in this one, so I can only assume this is where it is. We've got a Jack Steele Scanlon's card. Common. We've got the Jack Darling Silver. And what do we see? What do we see here? This looks like a Bombers. It looks like a star wild card of Darcy Parrish. I will take that. Again, I want to see a rookie. I want to see a nice little rookie card. It would be really nice to see one, but you can't get mad at a Darcy Parrish star wild card. I especially can't get mad at this box. There's no way I can do so. This has been a ridiculously good box. And like, like I said, on the best of times, four big hits in a box. Like, it's pretty cool. It's pretty good to see. we got Dion Prestia to start the second last pack. Bailey Dale, and there's another fantasy favorite, Brad Crouch. Last pack of what has been a really, really good box. Let's see how Team Coach decides to finish it off for us here today. We've got ourselves Nick Vlost and Silver, and a Matt Flynn Silver, and a card craft. We see, ooh, a little bit of a bent. That's not good. Top bent Tom Stewart. Let's hope we don't pull a Tom Stewart gold card craft anytime soon because that'll be a tough looking set with the bent version. Maybe have to hope we can pull another one in the near future. That's a bit of a disappointing way to finish it off, but certainly not a disappointing box as ugh, all the pack, I don't know, dust? I don't know how to describe it, but all the pack is kind of just all over the card. You can see here, the first pull that we had in this box was this gold best and fairest of the Gold Coast Suns. Really, really nice. Took Miller leading the pack. Um, I'll also mention this nice looking team star powers of Jaden Short. Really, really cool. And finally, we have ourselves the Darcy Parish Star Wildcard that rounds out the rest of the normal pulls, with, which obviously is headlined by this ridiculous 
Patrick Dangerfield, Retro Scanlands. I'm interested to see the value of this card because Scanlands was super hyped and the fact that we managed to pull one of the reigning premiers is really, really sick. And I'm hopeful this potentially means we have ourselves a really, really nice card in our hands. I want to straighten it out, but it's really hard to with a card that's so small and you have to be so like fiddly with the card. It's, it's really strange, but this is so unique from Team Coach and I'm absolutely all for it. This has been a super, super cool pack opening and getting a card like this is just a cherry on top, man. This is so, so sick, but if you guys enjoyed this box break, which I certainly did, I'd leave a like on the video. Be sure to leave a like on the video yourself if you enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel as well, because I plan to have a lot more of this stuff out as soon as possible. And I'll see you all, hopefully, in another video. I think uh, we got stuff like this a lot of the time, so let's hope that I'll be able to see you guys around. So thank you all so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.